So you'll get to hear best of both words, the formal and the casual both. And it's really interesting if you are again inclined towards legal dramas, definitely go for it. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me. Well today, I'm going to tell you six Netflix series, TV shows that are going to help you in improving your English fluency. So I know that you people were asking me about the movie recommendations, the web series recommendations. So here is the video for you with Netflix series recommendations. That's going to help you a lot in your English. I'm also going to tell you what kind of English do you need to focus on, like everyday English, business English, phrases, vocabulary, pronunciation, accent. Which series is proper for what to focus on? I'm going to give you all the tips when I'll give you the recommendations. So are you ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor, certified by the University of Cambridge to the UK, and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, I would like to request you to please subscribe this channel because you get one English video lesson every day on this channel. Also like the video and share it with your friends too. Maybe you can have a movie night or maybe you can watch these web series together with your friends. Okay, let's begin today's lesson. And before beginning, let me tell you all the series that I'm going to mention in this particular video, they are available on Netflix. So they are exclusively Netflix series that I'm gonna mention here today. And these series are going to benefit you. Why? Because watching English content helps you in developing your English. So we are going to target different areas of English with help of these web series so that you can target different areas of fluency, vocabulary, and improve your English speaking skills. One more thing that I want to add here is that I'm going to give you all personalized recommendations so something that i have watched something that's famous and i have not watched i'm not going to recommend it so it's totally based on my personal experience of what kind of vocabulary you can get from which series so are you ready for this let's begin with all the recommendations okay now the series number one number one my personal favorite that's suits now, Suits is a very famous Netflix series. It's a legal drama series. So we call it legal drama. That means it's based on lawyer, court, cases, but you get lots and lots of professional and business English. So this is a great series to watch if you want to improve your professional English, business English. If you are someone who's from corporate world or maybe the law world, that's perfect for you. So you get to see a lot of interesting, engaging cases, the court hearings. They give you lots of formal words to use. So you'll get to hear lots of formal words, lots of formal phrases, and it's a great way to improve your formal and professional English. And do you know the best part is it's got nine seasons. Oh my God, nine seasons. That means you have lots and lots of stuff to watch you're good to go with just one series you have lots and lots of episodes to watch with nine seasons and you'll be occupied with this for a long period of time so no looking here and there just learn your formal english your business english your legal english and yeah make a good impression in your professional world recommendation number two that's the peaky blinders now peaky blinders is a famous Netflix series that revolves around British culture around 20th century. And you get to know a lot about the political and social situation during 20th century. So you get to listen to posh British English. If you want to learn British English, if you're someone who's trying to learn British pronunciation and you're inclined towards British accent, definitely go for this. And this one has a bit of posh English, like the kind of English that is savvy, that is so swaggy, and that kind of English you'll get to hear, the posh British English. Plus, you actually get to learn a lot about what was going on in the world too, because 
in 20th century during 20th century lots and lots of reformations were taking place for example industrialization all the things that i have read in my english honors i was able to find almost all the elements there like industrialization capitalization capitalist society bourgeoisie the emerging middle class the aftermath of world war 1 so you get to see the political and social situation of the world during 20th century especially british culture and how it affected the world because that was an era of capitalism and industrialization so you'll get to see all that too so if you're interested in that you can definitely go watch it plus i think it is a great watch if you are inclined to watch some kind of family drama plus it has six seasons that means you have ample and ample of stuff to watch you can learn vocabulary you can learn posh english so yeah it's a good option to watch definitely number 3 friends so age old series friends is a comedy series we all know and it's a great way to improve your everyday english so if you want to improve your everyday english conversational english hanging out with friends talking to friends slangs phrases common conversations small talk it's a great way to develop all these areas of english and i'm sure you are going to have a good laugh watching this particular series it's got many seasons and episodes you are covered for a long time you will get to have lots and lots of stuff to learn your conversational everyday english your everyday casual spoken english that you want to learn something that you can use with your friends and family comfortably or with your neighbors when you're around in the society you're dealing your day to day life activities you can learn english and vocabulary related to that so it's a good option if you love comedy if you love light comedy you can go watch that number 4 now recommendation number 4 is one of my favorites again lucifer now lucifer is a show it's kind of a fantasy mystery drama you can say and it's a modern take on the character of lucifer the age old character of lucifer from your classical mythology i'm someone who loves classical mythology so definitely i'm going to recommend this but there is also a great story there so it's a different take on lucifer not the devil but the fallen angel something that we all miss to see and it gives out a great message so i think you should definitely watch this particular series it has so much emotional development character development that's great so if you compare season 1 with the last season you'll see great plot and character development a series that kept me hooked on and something that i really love to watch so it's about lucifer the fallen angel who's on a vacation so he is no longer in the hell he comes up on the earth he's on a vacation and he runs uh, this particular club and then he joins lapd so he's in los angeles and he joins lapd and helps this particular detective solve crimes so he is investigating and solving crimes and if you love crime series and all these kind of series this is a great watch each and every case that they get that's very interesting intriguing and plus it somehow relates back to some aspect of life so it's a great watch to develop your everyday english again although it's a mystery and crime drama series still you'll get to develop your everyday english most of the conversations are casual conversations between friends family the colleagues so if you want to know how to talk to your colleagues how to be that casual cool colleague you'll get that from this particular series because they are very comfortable even in their office zone and they interact casually with each other so you'll get to learn a lot of good vocabulary from this particular series phrases vocabulary slangs so definitely go watch it you get six seasons again lots of stuff to learn from you will be covered for quite a long time so definitely go and check out number 5 recommendation number 5 is the lincoln lawyer 
again a legal drama series now this is the second recommendation i have given related to a legal drama series and the lincoln lawyer is equally captivating like suits again you'll get to hear lots of formal vocabulary you'll get to hear business english formal english professional english with a mixture of conversational and casual english so you'll see the main character that's mickey holler the hotshot lawyer of los angeles again it's set in los angeles i think that's common in lucifer and this particular series uh, that it's in los angeles you will see that he is in a role of lawyer too and he is how he is as a person that's how he is interacting with his friends family so you'll get to hear best of both worlds the formal and the casual both and it's really interesting if you are again inclined towards legal dramas definitely go for it you get two seasons but more seasons are on their way so definitely watch it it's a good series to watch recommendation number 6 so the last recommendation for today is night agent so night agent is again a thriller it's an action thriller a night agent is based on a particular agent who's on this duty where he never gets a call on this emergency telephone so his work is to sit there sit in this particular room and look out for one emergency call that he never gets but finally the phone rings and he picks it up where the story takes off now the story starts it's very intriguing how this particular agent is going to protect and save a witness so it's about a lot of political issues too you will get to see and it's very intriguing investigation series if i have to say it in simple terms i'll call it an investigation series and if you like that definitely go for it you'll get to learn a lot of good vocabulary phrases do pay attention to the accent and the way they are speaking plus you might even pick some formal words too because he's an agent but mostly you'll get to learn normal spoken english and that's great too isn't it so you'll get to learn a lot of vocabulary it's good for your vocabulary and yeah a great intriguing series to watch again a series on investigation oh my god so i think we have covered at least almost four series in this particular video that's revolving around investigations detectives agents lawyers and all that so it's going to be great do watch all these series and pay attention to the different areas of english that i have suggested while watching and this will help you develop your english definitely you'll get to hear good english and then you'll be able to also speak good english if you practice and process the particular information that you're taking in in the correct manner for that you know you have all my videos to choose different techniques to apply to how to practice english how to plan uh your english techniques everything i always discuss go watch those videos and learn how to apply what you're learning so that's it for today that was the lesson i hope you liked it i hope you liked all the series recommendation you get them on netflix i want to remind you once again now i'm going to see you tomorrow with a new lesson till then everybody take care and bye